Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan, and in this lesson, we'll learn how to play Adventure of a Lifetime by Coldplay. We'll dissect the main riff in this video. The rest is featured at hdpiano.com. I've got a question before we get started. I'd like to know, do you prefer old Coldplay, new Coldplay, or are you indifferent? Comment below. Here's the main riff. And so on and so forth. All right, the main riff is this cool, funky, bass line driven part uh, inspired by what sounds like Mark Ronson or Daft Punk. And we'll first learn the chords to this section. Starting on a D minor 9. D in the left hand, F A C E in the right hand. We're going to leave the right hand the same. The left hand drops down to G. And we'll actually do this G. This is a G13 sus. And then that middle finger on C is going to shortly drop down to B right after it plays that one. So we have this, and then shortly after down to there. The chord after that is an A minor 7, A in the left hand, G, A, C, E in the right. So let's recap those first. We have D minor 9 to start, G13 sus, that middle note comes down, and then A minor 7, and then two chords after that. We have a C major 9, C in the left, E, G, B, D in the right, and then just the left hand drops down to G shortly before returning to the beginning of the loop. So let's recap it all. D minor 9. G13 sus to G13, A minor 7, C major 9 over G. Okay, let's see if we can make these chord changes in time without the bass line. So this is our tempo. First, I'll play them in time without the bass line so you can hear that, how they're played. So we do four on the D minor nine to start. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. And that's our general pattern without the bass line. So I'll make it make it very clear what we're doing here. We're doing four counts on D minor 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 on the G13 sus. 1, 2, 3, 4. Including that chord change in the middle. So kind of two on each. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 on A minor 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then do this again for 2. 1, 2. And then on beats 3 and 4, we play that C major 9, and then we play it over G. Okay, so now that I've, I've made it uh, very clear, let's try it again. One, two, ready, play. Two, three, change. One, two, change. And one, two, three, repeat. One, two, and change, change. Again, two, three, change. One, two, change. And one, two, three, four. One, two, change, change. That right there will get you through 85, 90% of this song. Uh, so I would recommend rewinding and hashing that out yourself if you need to uh, memorize those, uh, those parts for sure. Because now I'm going to introduce the bass line rhythm. Okay, the notes are going to be pretty much the same. We just add, we add this funky rhythm to it. And here's how it sounds again. Okay, 
So I'm not going to explain exactly what the rhythm is. I just want us to uh, to replicate what I'm doing. Okay, that's going to be the easiest way to teach this without sheet music. Um, it's real funky, real, uh, uh, what's the word? It's syncopated. Okay, we're using a lot of offbeat rhythms. Syncopation. All right. So what I'm going to do is just play it really, really slowly, and I'd like you to see if you can jump in. So first we play. Three, four. Then we pick up on C and D. Then we pick up on E and G. And again. And then these are just padded. So we have D. We have pickups on C and D. And we have pickups on E and G. All right, I'm going to play it in time now. You've seen the notes. Let's see if you can join me. One. Two, real slow to start. change, change. All right, so that's a good slow pace to get started with. If that was a struggle, rewind and practice, rewind and practice, because we're just going to keep doing that now a little faster. A few more times, each faster the next time. So here we go. One, two, ready, same thing. Three, four. And again, same speed. good faster yet this is actually pretty close to studio tempo this right here is where they recorded it so let's try it here a few times one two main riff and two three four one two three four one two three four one two three one two three four one two three four one two two more times one two Last time. And, and, uh. Cool. So that is the main riff. Again, that accounts for so much of this song. So learn that and learn that well. Uh, it might take some repetitions. It's very funky. Uh, uh, very subdivided and syncopated. So use that practice time and then come back and join me here for the variation. So the variation is actually real simple. We're going to remove the right hand at some point in the verse. Uh, I think the line is, at least the first line is, I feel my heart beating, uh, make you feel like I'm alive again. At that point, the right hand drops out. So we're just playing the bass line. Mm. Just like that. Uh, except at the end, we hold the A. So we play D to G and then to A. One, two, three, four, one, two. These are new chords. This is what I wanted to teach you. We play these E minor sevens before we loop back around to the chorus. Okay. So the line is like I'm alive again. Okay. And we play this chord E minor seven, G, B, D, E in the right, E's in the left. So real quick, that variation in, in whole looks like this. And we're back to the usual iteration of the main riff. All right, so that's it, guys. The main riff to Adventure of a Lifetime by Coldplay from A Head Full of Dreams. Uh, the guitar riff is next. This is actually what you hear at the beginning of the song, the guitar riff, and that happens in video number two over at hdpiano.com, so join me there. I'd like quickly to tell you how you can find us on social media. Check us out on Twitter, at hdpiano. Use the hashtag hdrequests and send us your song ideas, your lesson ideas. We see them all, love them all. 
Send us your 15 second performances to Instagram at HD Piano. We will repost them. Love seeing what you guys are doing at the keyboard. And then on YouTube, click subscribe. On Facebook, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we'd love to see you on all platforms, and we appreciate it all. I'm Dan, hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. See you for part two.